No response is still reading their text messages and allowing them to get to you. No contact. So finish that video for full context, but what she's saying is that no response and no contact are not the same thing. No contact is way better when you're dealing with a narcissist because you cut off the contact. There's no contact, there's no seeing anything, there's no reading messages, there's no mutual friends reaching out, there's, there's nothing, no contact. No response is still allowing text messages to come through. And, and you know, as a narcissist, we think that by bombarding you with love, affection and caring by text messaging you, by calling you, by showing them at your job and your work and everything like that, we think that it's going to wear you down to the point where you just give in and give us another chance. So if you go no response, like when you still reading my messages, you go to something I'm saying to you is going to trigger you to think I'm, I've changed enough for you to take me back. I'll start making false promises about how I'm going to treat the next person better, how I'm going to go to therapy and give the next person everything that you wanted me to do, and you'll end up giving in. So no response and no contact are not the same. No contact is way better. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I'm everywhere, y'all. Look, the point of my platform is to bring awareness to mental health disorders, including narcissistic personality disorder, BPD, ASPD, all the other good stuff. And also, in the process, validate the victims and survivors of, you know, said disorder. The uh, point of this series is to, you know, just bring, just take my TikToks and YouTube shorts and make them longer. They're, they are 60 seconds or less. These are going to be longer. The one you just watched right there was about um, the difference between no response and no contact. They are, they're a big difference. I know you, it, when you deal with a narcissist, no response and no contact both mean that you are not you know, responding to the narcissist, that you are not contacting them at all. But there's a little subtle difference between no response because no response means that you are, like like uh, my friend Heather said, you are still receiving their text messages, you are still looking at their uh, Instagrams and YouTubes and uh, TikToks and their social media platforms, you're still receiving um, messages from Facebook and things like that, Instagram DMs, Snapchats, um, you're just not responding to them. And that, that right there is very hard to do. And it kind of means that you're still connected to that person. Like you haven't let that person go fully because you haven't cut off that chain of communication. I know that having kids makes a difference and no response is typically how you go with that. But if you can go no contact, it just does a lot better because as a narcissist, if I can contact you, if I'm bombarding you with contact, if I'm bombarding you with love and text messages, because that's how I think love looks, is to send you a lot of text messages, to send you vi vi pictures and voicemails of our, you know, our first memories together, to send you, you know, videos and you know, trinkets and flowers and stuff like that, to blow your phone up, to pop up at your house, to come to your job and stuff like that. That's what a narcissist thinks showing their love is. That's what they think showing love looks like is to do all of that stuff right there, as opposed to just leaving you alone and letting you heal. They want to bombard you with that type of stuff right there. So if you, if, as a narcissist, if I'm getting through to you, if I'm hammering, the goal is to hammer away at you yeah, with, a, with a chisel and a hammer, like ding, 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 ding. If I hammer, in my mind, if I hammer and chisel away at you, sooner or later, you'll, get, you'll see one of those responses, one of those messages that you let come through that you're just not responding to. You're reading, but you're not responding to them. Sooner or later, you're going to, I'm going to say something in one of those messages that triggers you, and you're going to respond. And as soon as you respond, I know I got you. You can say, no, you don't get me, but you're, you're listening, you're watching me. So you're still connected to me. You're still connected. So I'm going, in my mind, I'm going to get you. If you're still allowing me, to, if, you, if you are still looking at my messages and having to read receipts on, so I can tell when you read my messages, I'm going to get you because you're just not responding. Sooner or later. Endurance. I'm like, it's a it's a marathon. Ma marathon. Marathon. It's not a sprint. I'm in here. I'm in here for the long run. I'm, <laughs> I'm there for the long run. So if I'm hammering away at you, sooner or later you're going to crack and message me back, and I'm going to suck back into this circle. You're going to suck back into that narcissistic, abusive relationship, and you're going to be mad at yourself because you could have just went no contact. If you don't have any kids or anything like that, it's easier to do because you can. You don't have any kids. You have no reason to contact this person. No house together, no nothing. Y'all just boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all were dating for a few years or months or whatever. You can go no contact. I know it's tough, but going no contact. And I, I know people in the comment section, I already know what you're going to say. Well, both, um, I'm not responding to them, so how would they know? Like, how do, would the narcissist know? It's not, you know, no contact is more about you healing. It ain't about the narcissist. It's about you. Both look like you cut off contact, but one allows you to heal. The other one allows you to get bombarded by me and hitting you with stuff like that. 
other the other one allows me like no response allows no contact allows you to not see it disconnect from it and just be healed because i say this all the time y'all you cannot heal in the same environment that got you sick you just can't do that that's not possible you said you cannot heal like the people in chernobyl russia whatever it is you can't there i don't know i'm not sure if it's in russia y'all ukraine wherever it is that i had to look it up later um the people in chernobyl the where the nuclear power plant melt, uh, melt had a meltdown they can't heal in Chernobyl. They got to get away from there to heal and to be better and to live decent lives. They're not going to heal in Chernobyl. You cannot heal in that, in that abusive relationship, letting letting that person come through and, and contact you. And I know, and you have to build, build, be able to build up the strength. No contact allows you to build up the strength because in this day and age, they're going to find a way to contact you. They just are. Fake Google numbers, fake profiles, fake Instagram, fake TikToks, fake everything. They're going to find a way to contact you. So the no contact allows you to build up the strength to get to detach from the person. So if you do see them, if they do get through, you can go no response and then go no contact again by blocking them. No response it just allows everything to hammer away at you, and eventually you're going to crack. You know, you know, I'm not going to crack. I'm going to be strong. Two months later, I want, why why I go back to that person? Why can't I get over them? Because you can't block them. 100% because you can't block them. You need to block them, release yourself, free yourself. Freedom. Taste that freedom. And on the other side of everything, narcissists, we hate no contact. No contact is the best way to go. No contact allows you to heal and get away from us. And we know that. We know the longer you, you go without talking to us or contacting us, the further away you get from us. So we're going to try to break no contact. Yo, you, no contact is your shield. We got a sword yeah, hammering away at it. Ah, ah, break, break. And then your no contact shield is not gonna break. Being don't break. It's got dents in it. It's got scratches in it. It's got cuts in it. It's got everything in it. Because like, when you go no contact, you hold your shield up, and that narcissist is hammering away with his hammer or their sword or whatever. They're gonna leave dents in it, and that dent is you looking at that dent is you breaking no contact by picking at their social media. That dent is you uh, a text message looking getting through, or your friend telling you something that's going on in that nar your ex narcissist's life. Your family member telling you something's going on in your ex-narcissist life. Those are dents. That shield is crack. You might, you might get a crack in it, but that shield did not break. Hold up that no-contact shield like you Captain America uh, and just swing away. Just fight back. You have to be, be able to build up your resilience because no contact, it, it just allows you to heal better. That's it. That's the bottom line. No contact is going to allow you to heal better than no response. That's just point blank period. If you have kids, low response and low contact are the way to go. Only respond to stuff about the kids. You know, have a media, get one of those parenting apps that filter out BS because they're going to try to attack you through text messages and stuff like that. They make you feel lower than low. You know what I mean? Give them generic responses to stupid stuff. I'm sorry, your I'm sorry, your uh, your judgment. I you, you see my character that way or something like that. Send them some boring back. As long as you no no response is still your power. Your, your control of your reactions give you power over a narcissist. Control your reactions, control your power, control no contact, and you win. It's a battle. It's a game. It's a game to the narcissist. The narcissist, we want to win. You can win, though. Take that victory. Moral, or high, take the high ground. Anyway, y'all, like and subscribe to the channel. Mental Hillness is out. Peace.